Hello friends, my name is AJ and welcome to my channel. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to open a website in Safari or the user preferred browser from your app in Swift on Xcode 11 for iOS development. With this, you can link either to your own website or an external one to engage your users. I will add timestamps in the pinned comment below in case you need to skip to one specific part. Without further ado, let's get started. So again, you can add this to either an existing project or your current one. I'm just going to create a new Xcode project for this. Um, I'll set it to be a single view app and my product name, I guess I can just do URL opener, uh, something like that. And I'll just save it to my desktop. Perfect. So this is the project. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a button uh, for my link to load. Um, you can either do this on a link, you could automatically, or you could do it on a button, you could automatically open it. Uh, pretty much the code for it's the same. I'm just going to trigger it using a button for now, uh, as that's often probably what you will be doing. Like, for example, if you want to link to a privacy policy, you'll probably be using a button. Or if you want to link to your own personal website or your company's website, you probably will be using a button. So that is what I'm just going to use as my example here. And uh, I can just put a title, maybe open link, something very generic, and center it right here. Okay, now I'm going to open the assistant editor right here to connect my link into my code, or my button into my code, sorry. So I'm going to right click and drag over here, and uh, I can just name this link button, as this is the button, when I click it, I want the link to open. So now I'm going to go over to my uh, viewcontroller.swift file or the file that you are connecting your button to. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to create my own function to open the link. So I'm going to type func open link. And uh, I'm actually not going to add any parameters here. However, technically, if you wanted to uh, specify like a specific link, you could. But again, I'm just going to leave it as no parameters so that it works properly with my button. So I'll have no parameters here and then a pair of curly braces, okay? So now the main thing with this is an if let. So if let uh, only runs the code inside if it can successfully unwrap the optional, optional URL object. And this is very important uh, as think about it, if, um, if I'm trying to open a link and let's say that URL is not able, like it's a, um, it's not a correct URL or something just doesn't work, it's basically going to ignore that part. So in order to do this, you say if let, and of course let is the keyword to create a constant. So you're basically saying if I can successfully create this constant, then do something. Uh, that's pretty much what if let is. And so the constant that I'm just going to create here is URL to open, as this is the URL I want my um, program to open when I click the button. And uh, I'm going to set this to a value. And the value I'm going to set this to is of a URL object. So I'm going to create a URL object, and I'm going to arrow up, which actually brings me to my end of my list when you arrow up, and then up again. So the um, main parameter that I'm using here to create my URL is a string so I can put in the URL I want. And for this example, I'm just going to, I guess, do amazon.com. So I'll just do https colon slash slash amazon.com, just like that. So that is how I'm going to open my URL. And remember, because if let runs code only when, only when uh, this can be created, it's just like a normal if. Uh, this is almost acts as that check or that boolean that you usually put inside an if statement so I can use curly brackets again to be able to basically do this part only if this is created. And obviously the part that I want to do is to open the URL. So I want to open the URL in the preferred browser. And so the code for this is simply going to be UI application dot shared and then dot open. And so open, you can see here, it takes in a URL, which is a URL object, options, and a completion handler. And so my URL I'm going to put in is simply my URL to open, because that is the URL that I want to open. And then options, I don't have any options. If you had options, then you'd put them here. But since I don't have any options, and the uh, type that it wants to be inputted is a dictionary, 
I will just fill it in with an empty dictionary. So in order to create an empty dictionary literal, this is what you do. You do a, a bracket, a colon, and then a bracket on the other side. And in this case, I don't also have a completion handler, but basically if I wanted something to happen when I open my link, then I will do a completion handler. So in this case, you can either type in nil and leave it blank if you do not want a completion, which is generally what you're going to do. But just in case, like you have some sort of reward system where if you want somebody to open an app, or um, in fact, another example is, let's say you have an app and you want somebody to, um, let's say, unlock something if you follow them on Instagram or visit their website or something, then you need to double click here. And what it does is it says Boolean, which is just done pretty much, if it actually opened, then you do something. So in this case, I'll just print that my link was open successfully. But however, again, you can pretty much do anything you want here. Just depends on uh, what your use case is. But remember this code in this set of curly braces will only run when your link is open. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I need to actually set this function to uh, run when my link is pressed. So to do that, I need to first put add objc here. Uh, that is required on every function that is um, going to be opened or clicked by a button. So in order to add this function now to my button, I simply need to do link button. I need to reference the button and say dot add target. And uh, as you can see here, it says associates is a target object and action method. So again, what I'm doing is I am taking my button and I am basically adding the action open link to it. And then it's going to run all of the code inside of this function. And the only way that I can actually add this uh, particular method as an action here, I need to have this at objc. So my target for my function is going to be self because I want to add this action to the button. I want to add it to itself. That is why this is self here. And then action, I am going to um, put the pound symbol or hashtag, I guess, uh, selector. And then you can see here the kind of what you put in here is a obgc func or an obgc method. So I can simply type an open link in here and that should work as my function. Now you notice that the selector, there are no parentheses for the function. That is just how it is. And then the for here is the event. So when do I want this to actually be um, click or to run this. So the first thing was on what, the second thing is what you actually want to run, and the third thing is when. So this is going to be an event. So in this case, I'm just going to do dot touch up inside. And uh, this basically refers to when a user clicks on a button and then the time that they let go from that click is when it runs. That's how most, most things are generally. Uh, that way, in case the user clicks on something like, oh wait, you know, I have a mistake, they can just move their finger off of the button and it generally won't press. Uh, if you used many different types of apps, they have it that way. So touch up inside is the best action for this. So now all of the code looks proper for my button. I open this URL and if it opens successfully, it will print so. And I've added this action to my button. So I'm just going to run this on the simulator and check if it worked right here. And the simulator takes some time to open. Let's see. There we go. And um, actually, one thing I noticed as I'm looking over, I made a slight spelling mistake here. So I'm just going to change that before I uh, click, the, click the button. Otherwise, it's probably not going to open. OK, so now if I click Open Link, you can see that it takes me to Amazon.com in Safari, and it printed right here that the link was open successfully. All right, so that is how to open a link in Safari from your iOS app. All of the code in this video will be on my GitHub page in the description below. Please like and subscribe for more content. And as always, thanks for watching.